strangers. So today, yes, I have a huge pimple right there. That's not what the mo movie, that's not what the video is going to be about. So today, as you guys can see on the title, we are going to do a fresh impression on the Olaplex Hair Perfector, the original. So this, I've heard many things about it. Um, it says here direction of use is you use it one time per week for damaged hair. Uh, wait, use one time per week for damaged hair two to three times per week. Okay, I don't know. But anyways, um, from what I know is that you wash your hair first and then you apply this on towel dried hair and then you wanna leave it for a minimum of 10 minutes, longer if desired. So I'm gonna wash my hair first. This is how my hair is like naturally. And I mean, it doesn't look the deadest from first appearance, but I can't even like get my hair through, I mean, get my fingers through. And I find that the, bo the bottom part of my hair is always tangly, like this section right here, because I find that's the blondest, so it's super dry. So I'm really hoping that this hair thing will help. If it doesn't help, I may return it, we'll see. But that's why we're doing this fresh impression to see if this will work. A lot of my friends who are blonde of biochemically bleach love this stuff. I know two of them who really like it, so I really wanna try this out. So let's wash my hair and see how this goes. So hopefully I don't need gloves or anything like that. No, it just says apply generous amount from scalp to ends until hair is thoroughly saturated on damp towel dried hair. By the way, this retails for $38, which is quite a lot for the amount you get. It's only 100 milliliters, so I really hope it works. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Showering, I am not naked by the way because, you know, I don't do that stuff. We're going to open this up. And I'm going to leave this as long as I can because I also don't want to stay up too late. Just open this up. Let me smell it first. Ooh, it actually smells like um an herbal essence conditioner. That makes sense. So now that my hair is somewhat towel dried, it's not as wet anymore. I'm just gonna apply this on, and what I like to do is do it by section. So first, I'll do it by this section. Yeah, it honestly feels like, you know how when you're uh, dyeing your hair? Yeah, when you're dyeing your hair and then they give you that free sample of that conditioner. Like this is how it feels like and it smells like herbal essence. This one won't use too much because I feel like with the amount that I get on this, I'm probably only going to be able to use it at most three times. Which is not bad at all, but... Even though they said to put it from your root to your tip, I think I'm just going to focus it more so on my blonde ends just to see how well it works out. So I covered my whole ha hair with it, especially the blonde part. What I find most interesting is that usually hair masks, I usually put it on dry hair, but the fact that you're using wet hair for this, I wonder how well it's going to absorb the product. So what I'm going to do now is just take like a handful and massage it on my roots. Um, I don't want to put too much though because I feel like my roots are pretty healthy as is. But what I notice is that when I'm spreading it out to my ends, it actually feels really nice just like any other mask would. Um, it feels like it's absorbing very well. It doesn't feel like it's sliding off, like the product is going to waste or anything. So I'm just going to focus more so in the middle part now since I mainly put it on the ends. So it did say put it on for a minimum of 10 minutes so I'm gonna try to strive for as long as I can until my roommate gets here or at least for a max of 30 minutes. But so far so good. It smells really nice. It feels really comfortable and I just hope that it makes my hair feel healthier. That's all I want how much product I used. So it's actually not even half empty, which I'm pretty impressed. I only used about this much, so maybe a quarter way. So maybe I could get at least four uses out of this, but I'm gonna leave this on for a while and come back when I'm about to rinse it off. You guys know how it's gonna feel and then come back once I rinse it off and let it dry. Just rinsed off my hair and I was reading some reviews on it and now I get it. You use the treatment once 
uh, per day or once a daily, but then they want you to do the treatment at least two to three times a week. And I also read online that some people put it overnight, some people shampoo their hair, towel dry it, and then put the treatment on and then just condition it. Some people just put it on towel dried hair so you would wet your hair first, towel dry it, and then put the treatment on and then hop in to do the whole shampoo and conditioning. So I think I'm going to do three different ways and see how it goes. But today what I did was I shampooed, conditioned my hair first, rinsed it off, towel dried, put the product in. I left it for about 30 minutes I'd like to say and then I rinsed it off again and I just conditioned it. I didn't want to over shampoo my hair because my hair tends to get dry if I keep shampooing, rinsing. You guys following me still? Yeah, we're going to see how this dries out and then on the next day, so the next time I do this treatment, I will probably rinse my hair first even if it's oily as hell. Just rinse it, towel dry it, put the product in and then shampoo and condition and see how that goes. Also the third time I want to try leaving it overnight to see what suits best for my hair. But so far it felt really nice, like the smell is good, doesn't bother me. Um, when I had the product in my hair for the whole 30 minutes, um, it didn't feel messy at all. When I, I eventually clipped up my hair, so when I undid the clip to rinse, it didn't dry up into like a hard mask or anything like that. It still felt very moisturizing. So I'm gonna let this air dry and then let you guys know how my hair feels. And because this is a fresh impression on how the product is by itself, I'm not gonna use any leave-in conditioners or anything like that just to see how the product stands alone. But we'll see. If it looks nice at the end, then we shall see. Woke up as you guys can tell, but I just combed out my hair and I feel like my hair feels nice but not to the point where I'm impressed with the mask. I think it's maybe because I did wash my hair prior to putting this on. And I'm gonna try it not today but tomorrow uh, before I do my wash because I usually wash my hair every other day. So the next time I'm gonna actually just damp it first and we'll see how well that kind of uh, process works but so far the shampoo first and condition first then treatment does not work for me so but it does smell good though hey strangers so this is gonna be a part two of the olaplex once i find it where are you there it is the olaplex hair perfecter. I'm gonna try it with damp hair now. So I'm gonna take a body shower, wet the hair, apply it on, come back tomorrow morning and once I rinse it off I will let you guys know if it feels a lot better. So it's gonna be the same thing, just different method and we'll see how that works. Okay so I just applied the second layer and I just want to show you guys how much I used for here. My hair is gonna fall very soon. There it goes. But anyways, um, there's about less than half and this is from after the second treatment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair up, put it in like a plastic bag and sleep with it overnight. Hopefully by tomorrow I'm going to try to keep it as long as I can. So right now it's 1.45am. I know, it's quite late. I'm going to leave it on until I fall asleep, wake up and do some chores and then rinse it off once I'm ready to rinse it off. But I'm hoping that the results will be a lot more um, visible this time around because I felt like before it made my hair feel nice and look healthy but still felt the same way as it would if I were to use like a hair um, leave-in spray so we'll see how this goes so this is just with towel dried hair no shampooing no conditioning prior so we'll see how that goes my room is a complete mess right now but I literally left Okay, is that a shadow of a spider? Because I'm a freak out. I'm a freak out if that is a spider. Okay, no, it's not. Anyways, um, yeah, I've left this mask on for at least over 12 hours overnight, only on damp towel dried hair. So now I'm gonna actually wash it off with shampoo and conditioner. And then once it dries out, I'll let you guys know how it feels like and if this method is better than the first. So I didn't do an outro, a proper outro about the Olaplex hair perfecter, but I feel like when I left it in my hair for a day, um, overnight, 
I kind of feel like the hair mask isn't worth the hype, if I'm being honest with you. It does make my hair feel softer and like look less frizzy, but at the same time I feel like I can get another mask with more quantity for a cheaper price. Like for example, the Lush Hot Oil Mask. I feel like those don't work pretty well or coconut oil even. So would I repurchase this again? Probably not, and I probably won't return it just because I did use over half of it. For I'll keep you guys updated in my vlogs if I change my mind, but I feel like my thoughts on it is going to stay the same. I wouldn't say it's worth the price. I would not repurchase it again, but it's worth to try if you feel like no other mask is working for your hair because there are lots of high reviews for it. Just for my hair, especially it's been over bleached a lot. It just didn't really set so well and it's not feeling as silky as I thought it would. But yeah, if you guys like what you see, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I will catch you guys in a later beauty video. Bye, strangers.